I'm just busy leaving Small World and it's a Thursday, we've just had seedlings and the rain has joined us again today um, and I was thinking a lot about um, our inquiry last year about Small World being a place of encounter and yeah I think moving on this year we have um, chosen the inquiry of Hey, okay. hi Jaden. <laughs> Can you open the gate for us so long? Yeah, and I think that's a natural progression from encounter. But how do we um, create spaces that are encounter-centered? Um, children are born seeking relationship, seeking um, relationships that are reciprocitous. Um, I think that. Thanks, Jay. I think that children are also born um, knowing on a very deep level that they are connected to everything else in the world. Um, and so, how do we meet the child in that space? Because as we learned last year, encounter is a way for a space that we create with children, where the child feels belonging, where the child feels met, and witnessed and um, where they can bring their big questions to and there will be someone there that is ready to hear their theories and not only just sprout off the known the known answers to those questions and the child is very um, let me just get my bags in the boot <laughs> the child is very um, attuned to adults particularly um, who can make a space like that who can actually create spaces of encounter um, they know how to do it with each other and that's why children love to play play with other children but um, if an adult can do it wow what a, an amazing thing for a child and they cherish this um, so uh, let's think about that this year um, and this week particularly as we also learn from the children about play and how to play um, how to really play and try to remember the last time you know you were met truly met was it a you know was it a, a grandmother who could just spend time with you and be with you in that moment was it a coach was it a teacher what was it and what were the qualities that created that space where you just wanted to learn what they had to teach and and they were willing to learn what you had to teach as well um, okay I think this is a wonderful question it's a juicy question it's the key to all things because in the space that we create this place it's actually like a place um, the child has hidden many uh, many things um, that are just out of reach and in this room that you enter together or the space and um, all is not lost because um, we are curious and uh, we like to see and re-see our children and um, not kind of box them into you know he's like this he can't do that she's like that um, this is her strength this is what she's really bad at um, I think that um, also we have um, this beautiful way that children have of leaving traces, leaving traces in that space um, for us to find, clues perhaps that, that will keep us searching um, to be able to see and re-see the child fresh every single day. So let's make, um, let's make this learning, this learning how to create this place, this space of presence, of being there, of witnessing, of encounter, um, how to make that wherever we go, not in only a classroom or a bedtime routine or wherever, but um, wherever we go and with, with also with our loved ones as well. How to really, really be there. All right, cheers.